Hi there, welcome back to a new video. The Indian subcontinent is the cradle to our great civilization, but we don't know exactly how it developed. Have you ever wondered about the origin story of this civilization? I always do. Now, we know about the Aryan invasion theory, which basically says that the Indian civilization came from Iran uh, after the decline of the Indus Valley civilization. But we do not have any evidence proving the same. And also the invasion part of the Aryan invasion theory has been almost completely debunked now. To really understand uh, where our civilization came from, we need to do a lot more of archaeological and historical research. But we do get some idea about how the civilization had begun uh, uh, from the literature. Uh, especially the scriptures like the Vedas, the Puranas, Dharma Shastras and so on. Rig Veda is a repository of knowledge about the land, its inhabitants and their culture and of course how it all evolved. And the Rig Veda and the Puranas that are basically based, basically based, <laughs> basically the Rig Veda and the Puranas talk about two important battles that may have had significant role in the history and the evolution of this culture. One is the Battle of Ten Kings or the Battle of Ten Tribes or Dasaraknya Yuddha. But the question could be why am I talking about two battles? Uh, mainly because I was reading this a screenshot. Actually, I was reading this Wikipedia page and then I found this. The Kurushetra Yuddha and the Battle of Ten Kings could have been the one and the same. I had to look into that. Are they the same? Well, that's what we are going to get into in this video. Then I also realized that the Battle of Ten Kings is the first ever battle for the establishment of the civilization, while Kurukshetra Yuddha is the final war that has ever been written in the scriptures. Uh, and the Mahabharata Yuddha or the Kurukshetra Yuddha is the beacon of Kali Yuga which we are living and the and awaiting the eventualities of and somebody documents Kalki's life we will have another great epic or scripture otherwise Mahabharata that's it so is there any connection between these two battles well let's see the Rig Veda basically deals with the region called the Saptasintus or the land of the seven rivers. Saptasintu is described as the original homeland of the Bharata tribe who went on to create the first major kingdom or empire in the subcontinent and the name Bharat came from the Bharata tribe. So it's the people who inhabited the Saptasintu region who then expanded into the Yamuna basin and started the Vedic period which then became the basis for the Hindu civilization. And the Battle of Ten Tribes is the first recorded war in ancient history and it is also attributed to the beginning of the Vedic period. The war took place in the banks of river Ravi or Parashani according to the Vedas. The five tribes came to fight from the west of the Indus. The Alinas, Paktas, the Palnasis, the Shivas, and the One hour later. Vraisnats. The Anus, Druhyus, Durvesa, Yedus, and Purus joined them. Uh, and they all came together under the leadership or the authority of uh, Rishi Vishwamitra. And on the other side is the Bharata king Sudas of the Tutsu family who fought under the guidance of uh, Rishi Vasishta. And the Tritsu homeland came to be known as Brahmavarta or the region between Saraswati and the Yamuna rivers. According to Rikveda Mandala 7 verse 18, uh, it indicates that Sudas crossed the Parashani safely, but their force were scattered by a flood, then either drowned or were killed by the Bharata troops. And the Bharata tribe and the Puru tribe came together to build the Kuru kingdom. 
which is the kingdom that goes on to be described in the Mahabharata epic as well. Uh, it was during the Kuru kingdom reign that the early Vedic period started and it was during this time that the Vedas were compiled. Amount of archaeological evidence about the battle of ten tribes or the battle of ten kings is almost nothing and it is not possible to prove it without any artifacts or archaeological evidence. Our focus has been almost completely on the Aryan invasion theory which was first uh, brought about by the British and the historians have still not warmed up to the idea of an indigenous beginning of our Vedic period and the Indian civilization. We still tend to look to the West. This does not mean that I'm saying that the out of India theory is right. That is all the civilizations or all this knowledge went out of India. But merely the possibility that the Indian civilization and the Vedic period started in India itself in this subcontinent itself. I have made two videos on this subject so if you're interested please go and check them out. I think you will find it very interesting. Now we already saw that the evidence for the Vedic period in the subcontinent is almost nil but we cannot say the same about the Mahabharata because the archaeological evidence that went into the Hindu epics have actually given us a lot of insights into the civilizations and the cultures here. The first excavation at Hastinapura, the capital city said in the Mahabharata epic, uh, happened in 1950 to 1952 under B.B. This excavation found that around 800 BC, a heavy flood in Ganga destroyed a considerable proportion of the Polish grey ware settlement. So they correlate the painted grey ware culture with the Mahabharata era. That is, they think that the entire civilization or the culture that is represented by the painted grey ware could have been the subject matter of the Mahabharata epic. And according to B.B. Lal, the painted grey ware could have been uh, in the thousands BCE. And uh, the time bracket of the war the Kurukshetra war was calculated at 1000 to 900 BCE. In 2006, there was a discovery of an ancient burial ground in Sinauli that is about 90 kilometers from Hastinapura and a bronze horse driven war chariot was found in 2018. And, in ex and the excavations in Sinauli in 2018 pushed back the date of the Mahabharata war to 2000 BCE because in the epic we know that they have used horse chariots. The painted grey ware sculpture is marked with rural settlements, pit dwellings and huts. There are weapons, arrow, a small head, spearhead, agriculture, tools, bone points, metal, iron, but they did not find any chariots. And the culture also did not have any distinct portrait traditions and very less information on Vedic rituals and traditions. And the 2018 excavations found a lot of artifacts that then came to be called as the ochre colored pottery culture or the OCP culture. And the OCP culture is marked with advanced weapons, tools, antenna, sword, harpoon, celts, dagger, shield, metal, copper and advanced chariot found. And it also had pottery tradition which also included metal pots and they also had similarities with Vedic rituals. But the date is again pushed back to 2000 BCE from 1000 BCE. And as we said before, there is another hypothesis that the Battle of Ten Kings in Rig Veda was heavily embellished and recreated uh, to make it the Kurukshetra War in Mahabharata. That is, the Kurukshetra War and the Battle of Ten Kings are the same just that it was heavily embellished when the epic was written. But I don't think that is the case because the timelines and the descendants, uh, everything differs greatly. But of course, a lot more research needs to go into uh, finding a conclusive answer to all of these hypotheses and theories. Some people tend to say that the Ramayana and Mahabharata 
were not actual events historical events but we can kind of prove that there was these cultures and these empires or kingdoms and they had epic wars waged between them so that's that so that's it for this video i hope you liked it and if you're interested to know more about the painted grayware culture and the ochre colored pottery culture uh, please let me know in the comment section we will talk about that at length in another video so if you're interested please let me know in the comment section and subscribe and tune in for more videos on this topic have an awesome time bye bye hi guys and here is the first book i have written life in a ziplock bag please check it out on amazon or flipkart and it's also available for direct buying from the publisher itself all these links are given in the description grab your copy now thank you